In the year 2000, on the date April 11th, around 9 p.m., the captain of South Africa called the managing director of the South Africa Cricket Board. The cricketer told the director over the phone that he is not entirely honest with the team. In 1996, during the third test in Kanpur, a person named Mukesh Gupta offered him $30,000 to quickly throw away his wicket on the last day of the match and lose. After this call from the cricketer, he was removed from the captaincy. On the same night and after an investigation, a lifelong ban was imposed on him. The cricketer could not participate in any cricketing event after that night. He was ashamed and he also appealed against his ban, but nothing happened. Two years later, the cricketer died in a helicopter crash. We are talking about the biggest match-fixing scandal in world cricket, which shook everyone. And the cricketer we are talking about is Hansi Kronje. Let me tell you about the revelation of the world's biggest match-fixing scandal in cricket, which upon its exposure created a sensation worldwide. In this scandal, the names of several prominent Indian players also surfaced. And after this, the careers of many cricketers were ruined forever. It's about April 7th, year was 2000 when a revelation by the Delhi police shook the entire world. Although the Delhi police was conducting the investigation from a different angle, what they found not only created a sensation within the police department, but also rocked the cricketing world. On that day, the Delhi police exposed a major match-fixing scandal with the central figure being South African captain Hansi Kronje. Not only Cronier, but also the names of several Indian cricketers were involved in this match-fixing scandal. So how did it all start? Two months before the match-fixing scandal was exposed, a businessman from South Delhi filed a complaint at the R.K. Puram crime branch office in Delhi, stating that he was receiving threatening calls from Dubai. In these calls, he was being demanded money. After this complaint, Delhi police obtained permission from the Home Ministry to tap some phones. In the list of tapped phones, one name was Sanjeev Chawla. One day, while Delhi police was tapping Sanjeev Chawla's phone, they learned about the betting on matches between India and South Africa. During the phone tapping, one day Delhi police intercepted a conversation between South African captain Hansi Kronje and Sanjeev Chawla. This call took place just a day before a one-day match in Faridabad. Both were fixing what would happen during this ODI and in the end, it was already decided that South Africa would lose the match. After this, Delhi police called Sanjeev Chawla for an inquiry. Initially, Chawla completely denied the allegations of match fixing. However, after a while, he admitted to the match fixing. Sanjeev Chawla, who was supposedly a bookie, revealed that he had been in contact with Hansi Kronje even before the South Africa's India tour started. When the matter of fixing between Chawla and Kronje reached the South African Cricket Board, they immediately ordered the formation of a King's Commission for investigation. It was a big deal. During the investigation by the King's Commission, Cronier not only admitted to fixing but also revealed the names of several other cricketers including Herschel Gibbs, Nicky Boy and Henry Williams. In front of the King's Commission, Cronier completely broke down and he also admitted that he took money from the bookies for match fixing. He admitted to all this because the King's Commission told him that if he truthfully discloses everything about whatever happened, his penalty could be reduced. After this incident, there was pressure on the BCCI and PCB to investigate this scandal. Subsequently, due to involvement in fixing, a lifetime ban was imposed on Azruddin and Ajay Jadeja also received a ban of five years. After that, in the same year, in October, a lifetime ban was imposed on Hansi Kronje from all formats of cricket, meaning he could no longer participate in any cricketing event. 
Herschel Gibbs and Henry Williams also faced sanctions and were banned until the end of the year. After this most shameful incident in cricket, there was a stir in all cricket playing countries. Following this, there were several key developments in the cricket world. Apart from the Asian countries, Australia also initiated an independent inquiry after this scandal. South African umpires also came forward and admitted that they were approached to influence the match result. In this fixing scandal, names like Brian Lara were also involved, who used to place bets on individual players. However, he was considered innocent in the matter. This fixing scandal shattered the hearts of all cricket fans, especially Indian cricket fans. Their trust in the gentleman's game was shaken. The emergence of names like Azhar, Jadeja and Kapil led to outrage, but gradually things normalized. However, this infamous stain on cricket's history remains just as it was. When we recall it, we are often compelled to ponder whether cricket is truly a gentleman's game. Well, about the involvement of Indians in this fixing scandal and the detailed historical context, we'll discuss in another video. For now, let us know in the comments when you first learned about this fixing scandal. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.